Hey guys, in today's video we are creating this cool wavy text effect you see right here inside Affinity Designer version 2. And first of all we need to grab our graphic text tool right here and type in the text we want to transform. So in our case it's Affinity. And the next step is making it bigger and moving it in the middle of our document by having snapping activated. And now we need to choose a cool font. So I've chosen Anton for this project, moving in the middle again, and we can keep it in this size for now. So the next step is to go right here and click convert to curves. You find this in this top um, line right here, convert to curves, and then simply right click and click um, ungroup. And now we have the curves of our letters. And the next step is to choose this pen tool right here and zoom in by having snapping activated. These are my settings by the way. We find this little um, corner right here. We can click right here and we can click right here and we can move uh, like this. And again right here click something like here. And we're giving it a stroke of, for example, 3 or 2PT. We're going with cap, square cap. And we're going with swatches and another color, for example, orange. Not the filling, the stroke. So selecting the stroke, selecting the color orange. And now we're duplicating it by using the command Command and J. If you're using Windows, every command is the same. Just use Control instead of Command. So Control J in this case. And now we can move it down like this. Till we are satisfied. Maybe like this. And now we are zooming in. And our next step is to select the first letter we want to transform in this wavy look which is this one and we're going right here we're clicking on quad and we are clicking right here holding down shift to move in a straight line and simply move till we have our letter um, or our point in the middle of this line so or our letter above the line so like this the same for the other letters so Right here, hold down shift and move right here. Hold down shift and move right here. And always um, release shift if you're selecting a new point. So now hold down shift. And right here, hold down shift. And again, um, don't keep it like this. Move it till you have all of the letter underneath the line or till you have the point in the middle of the line. So now the next step is to do it with the next letter, so selecting and moving down, selecting and moving down. It doesn't need to be perfect, so depending on your needs, uh, needs and how precise you want to be. So the next step is to go right here and select right here like this. And like this and the next letter and we are nearly finished with warping those letters so two letters to go this one hold down shift for a straight line and make sure that it's underneath the line the whole part of the letter so like this and the last letter to go hold down shift and move to the top and again here a little bit more and here and the next step is selecting all of the warped letters we can select the first one the layer step hold down shift and the last one and now click here convert to curves again and now we need to grab our pen tool again select the lines and move like this to um, finish them. So something like this. So now we need to go with the note tool to find the note. And again for the um, down part right here, 
select this curve and then the pen tool and finish it so we have a form a shape now we need to select both of the curves so first those curve both curves clicking on this node tool right here and then clicking on join curves to create one curve out of the both curves and the same for the top part click join curves and the next step is giving our curves a fitting for example this red tone and now select both of the curves go to layer right here go to expand stroke and now we need to select the both bottom ones and click on the boolean operations on add and for the top one as well and click on add and now we maybe need to adjust the corners like this should do and for the bottom part it's all right and what we are doing next is we are selecting the first curve holding down shift and the last um, warped letter and now going right here this is new in affinity designer version 2 as um, same as the warp which is also new in affinity designer version 2 so we're clicking on shape the tool and we're clicking on this plus icon right here and selecting all of those letters and now we can go with the move tool again and delete every other part we don't need anymore so those curves and those cut out parts and delete and the next step is selecting one curve and holding down shift and the last one and we can make them to one curve by clicking on add right here in the boolean operations now select our a curve making it bigger by holding down shift so we keep the proportions something like this should look good and now we simply need to rotate it and to fit it to our letter so something like this till you're satisfied you can move it up and down with the arrow keys and left and right and also use the shift key to um, to move it in 10 pixels so 10 20 and also to the top and we're going back this looks good and the next step we need to do to in order to create this text effect so to make it pop out of the background is selecting all of the letters and we can now choose to add them add them to create one curve or to group them so in this case we're going on with add because you also want to add some gradient holding down shift and making it bigger moving in the middle of our screen and now going to quick fx going to outer shadow 50 percent opacity 50 or 30 or something like this 30 radius and 30 offset and angle 315 degrees and if we want to add some gradient we can go with the gradient tool right here so first of course select the curve and go something from here hold down and move to here we can click right here to add another color and to get this color right here we simply need to go with the hex code so this is the first hex code copy and paste right here double click paste enter and for the next one select right here double click double click copy and click here and paste right here and also for the third one select copy and paste right here and now we can adjust the gradient a little bit more if we want to and we are finished with this text effect and that's going to do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye